Good evening from London. It's a bright and crisp late August evening here. And hello from me, Dr. Dermot Hudson, the chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Duce Idea, chairman of the UK Korean Friendship Association, an official delegate of the Korean Friendship Association for the UK, and president of the Association for the Study of Sungum Politics. Today, very significantly, is actually the Day of Sungum, a public holiday in People's Korea. And this was decreed by the Presidium of the Supreme People's Assembly in August 2013. Today is the 60th anniversary of the start of the Songum revolutionary leadership of the great leader, Generalissimo uh, Kim Jong-il. And that is why uh, August 25th is known as the Day of Songum. It was on August 25th, 1960, that uh, Comrade Kim Jong-il, together with the great leader, President Kim Il-sung, visited the uh, Seoul Ryu Kion Su 115th Division of the Korean People's Army. And this was very significant because... Uh, this was the army unit of, uh, of the KPA that was steeped in revolutionary history. The uh, 105th uh, Tank Division uh, was the first uh, unit of the KPA to storm into Seoul on the 28th of June 1950 when the Korean People's Army liberated uh, Seoul from US imperialist and South Korean puppet rule and in fact uh, you know the first tank into uh, Seoul was tank uh, 312 from this uh, tank division and that uh, tank is still preserved today so from the 25th of August 19. 60, Comrade uh, Kim Jong-il uh, gave guidance to different army units and the armed forces of uh, the DPRK, uh, hence the uh, term Songun Revolutionary Leadership. Now there's a lot of misunderstandings about the Songun I leadership and Songun politics and Songun idea. Uh, it simply means army first. It is the idea of giving priority to the, the military and a uh, basic core of uh, the Sungum idea and Sungum politics is the idea that the revolution is advanced and defended by force of arms. And this was a lesson of the learnt in the Korean Revolution, you know, during the years of the anti-Japanese um, struggle and the fatherland liberation war and also in the period after the end of the fatherland liberation war the uh, confrontation between people's career and u.s imperialism was very intense comrade kim jong-il uh, gave uh, guidance to the armed forces the revolutionary armed forces of people's career in that uh, period and under his leadership and that of President Kim Il-sung the uh, revolutionary people's armed forces of people's career scored many victories such as the capture of the Pueblo in January 1968 the successful shoot down of the EC-121 spy plane of the US in April 1969 the Panmunjom incident in 1976 and the uh, nuclear confrontation uh, with the, the US that actually uh, had several rounds and in fact uh, carried on from the 20th century into the 21st uh, century. Uh, 
So, you know, it was thanks to the Sangan revolutionary leadership that the DPRK uh, came out, out as the victor in all these conf uh, confrontations. Now, uh, Songam is often uh, misunderstood uh, qu uh, quite a lot uh, because, uh, you know, some people think it just means a military government. Nothing could be further from the truth. And in fact, uh, military governments have been set up in capitalist countries uh, basically uh, when they've uh, run into a severe crisis and therefore it was necessary for the uh, ruling class uh, to dispense uh, with any pretense at democracy and rule by military force and you could see this uh, in a number of countries where you had fascist dictatorships based on the military however people's uh, Korea is a socialist country uh, with uh, no capitalist monopolies uh, so no need for uh, military rule. Uh, moreover, it is based on army people unity and indeed the Sungan revolutionary leadership of comrade Kim Jong-il greatly uh, enhanced that army people un unity. Uh, the soldiers of the KPA actually take part in socialist uh, construction all the time and uh, many of the monumental structures that uh, you will see when you visit People's Korea uh, have been constructed by the KPA or certainly with their participation. It is a genuine People's Army and at the moment when the DPRK has suffered uh, some floods uh, the Korean People's Army is in the van uh, assisting uh, the people and uh, there's no doubt that the Sangam revolutionary leadership of uh, comrade Kim Jong-il has uh, built up the uh, revolutionary armed forces of uh, people's Korea to have very strong self-defense uh, capabilities. The DPRK learnt through the anti-Japanese armed um, struggle uh, and through the Fatherland Liberation War and also uh, through incidents like the Cuban Missile Crisis when uh, Cuba was betrayed by uh, the Soviet Union that uh, yeah, they couldn't uh, uh, stake uh, their independence, their defence on uh, you know the uh, help of another country you know they needed self-reliance uh, in defense and the Sungan revolutionary leadership has brought that about thanks to the Sungan revolutionary leadership uh, the DPRK became a socialist nuclear power of Juche and an ICBBM power uh, it is thanks to the DPRK's nuclear deterrent uh, that DPRK now stands on a level playing field and has been able to hold two summits and one impromptu meeting uh, with the US chief executive. That would have never happened if the DPRK didn't have the nuclear deterrent. That's a plain and simple fact. So today we join uh, with the people of the DPRK in celebrating uh, the day of Songam, the 60th anniversary of the Songam revolutionary leadership and we say long live Songam, long live Juche, long live the Songam revolutionary leadership and also uh, briefly I'd like to address another anniversary that falls on the 25th of August namely the anniversary of the anti-imperialist National Democratic Front of South Korea that was formed 51 years ago in Seoul uh, as the Revolutionary Party for Reunification which later became the National Democratic Front of South Korea or Hanminjong 
in uh, 1985 and then the anti-imperialist National Democratic Front of uh, South uh, Korea in 2005. Uh, very few people outside Korea know of its existence. Uh, it is underground in South Korea because of the harsh fascist repression, you know, the national security law. Uh, it does maintain a Pyongyang mission and UK KFA and the British Group for the Study of Duke JD and Association for the Study of Sungan Politics are very proud to have good relations with this organisation. Uh, we uh, uh, believe uh, that uh, you know the struggle of the ANDF is vital to reunify Korea and the ANDF is uh, fighting it under the banner of the Juche there and anti-imperialist independence. So we say long live the anti-imperialist National Democratic Front of South Korea. Uh, thank you for watching uh, this video. I hope you've found it informative. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and please uh, support our events which are mostly online but real life events are coming soon. I wish you all a good evening, happy day of Songam, and stay safe. Goodbye.